Two Rhode Island car dealerships are in trouble with the state, accused of engaging in deceptive pricing practices. Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. These kinds of stories just keep popping up in the news, don't they, Liz? Yeah, it's not very surprising. Good to see someone finally cracking down on these bad operators, though. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Norona has filed lawsuits against Greco Honda and Greco Toyota, claiming they violated Rhode Island's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Naronha claims Greco Honda in Johnson has been advertising deceptively low prices, so it's advertised on the web, for example, at one price. But when you go down there, we allege that you can pay up to 5000 for what's called an addendum fee, said Naronha. Mighty familiar story we hear from around the country, isn't it? Certainly is. I have a question for our viewing audience. If you live near either Greco Honda or Greco Toyota, did you recently buy a car from there? If so, we suggest you reach out to the AG's office in Rhode Island. Your information could be vital to this court case, and you may have some money coming back before this is all over. That's right. AG Naronha said Greco Toyota in East Providence has also been deceptively advertising vehicles. Greco Toyota is advertising cars available at wholesale prices, or what we would pay at auction, and by law, that's deceptive and misleading to consumers as well, said Naronha. He also said violating the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act is never a good thing, but it's especially hard on consumers in today's buying market, where prices are high and inventory is scarce. And everybody's looking for a great deal, so they yeah. fall prey to this kind of stuff pretty easily. You probably know when you're heading to a dealership that you're going to pay more than you would have two or three years ago, said Narona. How true that is. The problem in this scenario is, particularly where there's an addendum fee of 5000 that's not advertised above and beyond the advertised price, is that the consumer is left with a kind of take it or leave it scenario. Let's check out this local news report. At a clock here at home, two local car dealerships are in trouble tonight, accused of engaging in deceptive pricing practices. Rhode Island's Attorney General has filed lawsuits against Greco Honda and Greco Toyota, accusing them of taking advantage of car buyers during an already challenging time. Between low inventory and inflation, buying a car is tough right now. It's even more difficult when dealers may not be playing by the rules. You know, all businesses uh, should play by the rules, and when certain ones don't, as we allege in this case, then obviously they have an advantage over ones that do. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Narona announced today that his office has filed lawsuits against Greco Honda and Greco Toyota, claiming they violated Rhode Island's Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Nerona claims Greco Honda in Johnston has been advertising deceptively low prices. So it's advertised uh, on the web, for example, at one price. But when you go down there, we allege that, you know, you could pay up to a $5,000, what's called a dentum fee. And he says Greco Toyota in East Providence has also been deceptively advertising vehicles. Greco Toyota is advertising cars available at wholesale prices, or what we would pay at the auction. And, and by law, that's, in our view, uh, deceptive uh, and misleading to consumers as well. The AG says violating the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act is never a good thing, but it's a especially hard on consumers in today's car buying market where prices are high and inventory is scarce. You probably know when you're heading to a dealership uh, that you're going to be paying more than maybe you would pay two or three years ago. The problem uh, in this scenario is, is that, you know, particularly where there's an addendum fee of $5,000 that's not advertised above and beyond the advertised price is, again, the consumer is left with a kind of take it or leave it scenario. Of course, Greco Honda and Greco Toyota will have a chance to refute these claims in court. If it's found that they did violate state law, they could face up to a $10,000 penalty for each instance of deceiving a consumer as well as restitution. We have reached out to the company's general manager for a comment, but so far we have not heard back. Well, there you have it right from the horse's mouth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're just the ones that got caught. This happens all the time. What Narona was saying is that Greco specifically advertised with the word wholesale prices, and that term is forbidden in Rhode Island in car advertising. Narona seeks to have customers reimbursed for the amount they overpaid, as well as finding the dealers up to $10,000 for each violation of the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act, fines that could total more than a million dollars if uh, everyone speaks up who got taken advantage of. Greco Honda and Greco Toyota will have a chance to refute these claims in court. If it's found that they did violate the law, they face some pretty big penalties, as Liz just said. Mm -hmm. NBC 10 News reached out to the company's general manager for a comment, but as of this report, they had not heard back. Oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs>
The Providence Journal reports that George Smith, COO of Greco Automotive Group, the dealership's parent company, denied advertising Hondas at false and misleading prices and blamed the use of the word wholesale on a Florida advertising company that he said did not know that it is illegal in Rhode Island. Ignorance of the law is no excuse to not be prosecuted under the law. Yeah. Smith said that prices listed on the Honda dealership's website were the manufacturer's suggested retail price and not the price for which the car was offered. He said the prices were for informational purposes only. Smith said dealers rarely sell cars at the suggested price. Usually they sell for lower. <coughs> <laughs> but uh, in the current market, some cars are in such short supply and high demand that they go for more than the suggested price, he said. The cases which were filed Friday afternoon say a customer went to Greco Honda in December and was told that the car would cost $5,000 more than the sticker price. You see, this all starts with you, the consumer, filing a complaint with the AG's office. The suit then details three visits to the dealership in January and March by investigators from the AG's office who said they were told vehicles would actually cost $5,000 more than the advertised price. Now, Liz, I recall on a few occasions when you visited dealerships because the kinds of questions that you ask or the statements that you made that salespeople were murmuring together. Is this gal from the attorney general's office or right. what? <laughs> They're feeling a little intimidated. Right, right. Made them comfortable. Ads for Greco Toyota listed more than 100 cars on the vehicle value lot being sold at wholesale prices, the suit says. Nerona said rules set by the Division of Motor Vehicles, which regulates car dealers, provide that the word wholesale shall not be used in retail motor vehicle advertising to imply that motor vehicles are being offered to the general public at wholesale prices. Nerona said his office is prepared to make sure that the car dealers follow the rules. Did this happen to you where you had thousands of dollars in fees and add-ons put into your car deal? Stuff they said they automatically do for every car deal? Each state has their own laws against deceptive pricing practices. You, the consumer, have to fight back. Right. It's up to you. So contact your state attorney general office and file a complaint. I want to express my appreciation to those of you who have donated or asked how you can contribute to my medical expenses. As you might have guessed, my household has a pile of medical bills after months of hospitalization and recovery from double pneumonia. For your convenience, our staff has put a PayPal and Cash App link in the description box down below. Thanks to all of you. And right now, 100% of donations from viewers are going towards Kevin's ongoing medical expenses. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us a great big thumbs up. And please, always remember to comment on our videos and share them with family and friends. Comments really matter because they help boost our online visibility and lead others to great Homework Guy content. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.